copy? Look. When the world was very, very new, and dreams had not yet receded from the waking day, the first dragon was a queen named Mim, and Mim was the keeper of all who dreamed. She cared for the dreaming by encircling the world and holding her tail in her mouth. As long as Mim held her tail this way, balance was maintained. And balance is most important, for the dreaming is a thing of great delicacy. Without it, there would be no life. Mim watched the dreaming with care, and all creatures lived together in peace and harmony. Cocapel! And all creatures lived together in peace and harmony. Until one day, a spirit known as the Lord of the Locusts became unhappy. The Lord of the Locusts was a nightmare being, without shape or firm, who could exist only in the spirit world. He wanted to move on the face of the world, but to do that, he must take possession of a mortal being's flesh. He chose Mim, Queen of the Dragons, the most powerful dreamer of all. The Lord of the Locusts entered her mind, and the Queen of the Dragons went mad. Balance was lost, and the world went dark. The dream became a nightmare. That was the beginning of what you might call a creation story. Hey. The mailman's here. The mailman's not going to kill us. As I was saying, that was the beginning of a creation story, uh, at, which is slightly relevant because dear old Locust Guy is trying to create problems in both of these, but I'm only talking about this. Uh, this is actually the prequel to this, although it was written after this, um, and this is nine graphic novels all shoved into one giant volume, and it is freaking awesome. I will need to talk about it another time. So, of course, considering that I've already read a bit that's talking all about dreaming and dragons, those are two very important thingies in this, uh, as you might also guess by Great Red Dragon being on the cover here. Uh, and this one here is Rose. So you've got two sisters, Rose and Briar, both are princesses. So the two sisters, you have Rose who is just, she takes naturally to the dreaming. She, her dreaming eye is open. She is well known for her prescience, uh, is, is that how it's said? She has a knack for knowing when danger is coming. And, and she has two dogs who are very, very sweet, Cleo and Euclid. Then there is also her sister, Briar, who is, um, well, Cleo and Euclid call her the Ice Queen. Um, she is very unpleasant, kind of a mystery. Let's just leave it at that. In the beginning, the headmaster, who is the head of a religious order, shall we say, calls for the two princesses to go to this place called Old Landscape so they can take a test to determine if they are able to be the head of this particular religious order. And I, I, I don't know what else to call it. Uh, spiritual order? That's probably better. So, spiritual order. And basically, anyone who is going to rule the country has to pass this test. And it involves proving that you are spiritually aware, in touch with your dreams. Because, of course, that is really, really important in this. And along the way, of course, a certain someone manages to get into trouble. Partially because she, uh is easily distractible and also because she doesn't take her dreams quite seriously enough. It's an interesting study in loyalty, what happens when you don't have proper discipline, and I don't know what else to say without giving away spoilers. I'm gonna say that my absolute favorite graphic novel is this, and of course this is a close second since it is the prequel highly recommend it. If you're interested in graphic novels, check them out. If you're interested in fantasy, check it out. It's some very, very good stuff.